found in our minds and hearts, in the cue cards and the racks, and in the red criminals. I believe in God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffering under Pontius Pilate, who was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He descended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living. church, those in need, and all of God's creation. Anointing God, you commission us for our ministry in daily life. You also call us to pass our faith and ministry on to the next generation. Inspire us in equipping, in our equipping of others. Lord, in your mercy. God of creation, you have given us all we need. Inspire us to honor your creation as an inheritance and trust. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. God of the nations, the distractions of the world draw our attention away from you. Refocus us in our commitment to your ways and the justice you desire for the world. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Through the fruits of your spirit, make us healers in the world. Bring love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control into the lives of all in need. We pray especially for June, for Shirley, for April, for comfort for Helen's family, for those marching in the Gay Pride Parade today, for those affected by the floods in West Virginia and the fires out west, and for those who are working with them and ministering to them, for all those on our prayer list. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Steadfast God, guide this congregation by your spirit. Make us neighbors to each other, ready to be and receive strangers, and show us how to love our neighbors as you intend. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Loving God, be with all those in our military and those who care for them physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Give them strength and courage in their service, reminding them that you are walking with them and holding them in your strong arms. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Heavenly God, we thank you for the miracle of new birth. We especially thank you for Tony and Linda's new grandson, Nolan. Help his parents and grandparents to lead him to you by their word and example, so that he may know your loving presence in his life, now and forever. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. O God, you have called the saints your own. Gather us with them into your kingdom and the promise of life forever with you. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. We lift our prayers to you, O God, trusting your promise to hear us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, abounding in steadfast love toward us, healing the sick and raising your people to new life, showering us with every good gift. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Just and gracious God, we come to you with the healing of life. Our sins hurt others and diminish us. We can be blessed with you. Our lives bear the scars of sin. We bear the results of you. Show us your mercy, O God. Bind our wounds. Forgive us our sins. And free us to love. For the sake of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. The Apostle Paul assures us, <clears throat> when we were dead in our trespasses, God made us alive together with Christ, nailing the record of our sins to the cross. Jesus says to you, your sins are forgiven. Be at peace and tell everyone how much God has done for you. Amen. Peace of Christ be with you all. Amen.